Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I am starting a little reading vlog for one of my most anticipated releases this year and I'm so 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 excited. I, I don't have any words and I need to talk about them a bit before to explain some stuff but I hope you enjoy my reactions etc. I'm gonna like keep it spoiler free and all that but of course share my thoughts and I don't know how much I will update but you shall see as we go on with this vlog. So basically I have the arc of The Silver Throat by Sia Patterson. This is a Norwegian called Sølstrupan and this is a Norwegian arc <laughs> I'm like holding it. I'm like <laughs> uh, obviously it's easier for me to get Norwegian arcs because you know I am in a way. I'm just such a huge fan and having like an actual arc because obviously it's like in paperback and not like the finished copy. I just, I don't have words that the publishers want to send this to me. No words. Very excited and I just, <laughs> I'm like quaking. So this one is being released on the 28th of September. It's a quite little while until like two-ish months depending when this goes out. And this is the sequel to just step back a little to the Iron Wolf, aka Jan Ulvan, which is the original title. I have like an exclusive cover that matches the other series by the author, but I got both those jackets here, so can I take this off? Apparently not. Like here, it matches like, they, they do match. So now I am hoping for another exclusive edition. Well, so I only have this one in this, so we shall see if they announce something. But either way, the Iron Wolf was released in English this year. It was released in English in February this year. I will leave a link down below if you find it hard to find. Like I would just leave like the Amazon link or something so that you have the ESPN number, I can buy it in your local shop, etc. So you can read this. I don't think they still throw this out in English for a little while yet, but it will come. And this is the next series by the author who also wrote Odin's Children. I will put a picture here. And I read it actually in English when it first came out in English. I don't remember exactly when. But I have a whole video on my channel where I like read the first book in English. I talked about it, etc. So I will leave a link down below so you can check out me talking more about the first series by the author. But basically they're all very like Northern mythology focused really brutal and bloody and full of many different beliefs that they have and it's just amazing and also has crossing into other worlds and it's just very, very cool and I really, really love them. The second book is actually my favorite, which is called The Rot, Love It to Pieces, and it's still my favorite still, so we should see if this can beat it. Oh, not this one, but the next one. Well, the first series is called Raven Wings. So that is in the other video. But this series is called The Vardari. I don't know how to say that in English. Because in Norwegian I would say Vardari. I don't even know if that's how you say that. <laughs> Point being, this is the second series by the author. You don't need to read the first one to read this one. They're like completely separate. And in this one, we basically grew up a lot. Sorry, this just so I could get this annoying me. It's much more mature. We have much older main characters. It's much more like I wouldn't exactly call it like explicit sex, but there's more, it's more sex in it in general. Like it's much more mature. It feels much more like a upper young adult or like adult book than the first series by the author. I was very happy about when I read it, but also very surprised. So that was a, like a good surprise. And I read it for the first time when I was released in 2020. So I thought for sure it was 2022. <laughs> it was released or like 2021 at least. It's like three years ago. That's a long way. Either way, so I knew that I didn't remember anything. So I started a reread of this yesterday since I want to remember everything to get the most out of Silver Troth. And I'm now actually halfway-ish. I'm on 226. And I didn't remember a lot that I thought I did. So I am glad I decided my reread. And it's obviously a part of this vlog. So I'm talking a lot about the first book here because I feel like I need to talk about the first book so that people who haven't seen or heard about the series can be interested in it as well. Also, can we just talk about how Siri like designs and like draws, designs all of the covers for her books because they are amazing and I'm like mind blown. Either way, going from the synopsis because I don't know how much to say or not to say sometimes, we follow Yuva who is from a family of blood readers. Is that what you would say in English? I don't know. It probably maybe translated these words into other words in the actual translation. 
and they tell people that they can see the future or see like people's fates etc but you are most their only scam because she came from a family of blood readers and she has like separated herself from them and don't want to be a part of that family and that like scammy scamminess <laughs> is that a word <laughs> but until her family's been threatened and I guess maybe targeted is a better word of the Vardari who are people who live forever then she needs to step up and finds this secret that her family has kept for many 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 years and this secret <laughs> Uh, will blow your mind <laughs> like honestly I want to compare it with a certain movie but then like it gives away that secret because I remember reading the book and I was just like what what is this it is brilliant it is dark it is clever I don't want to obviously say what the secret is but like obviously it's like the highlight of the book and when it comes to light you're like sitting there like what it is insane. Also, society also have like this blood balls you can take and if you take too many of them you can get this blood sickness which you then die off. We also have like another part of you called Rugen who is close with Yuva in a way but also maybe on his own side and he has gotten this blood sickness and wants to get rid of it. But yeah that is basically it and it is set as I said in the same world as the Raven Wings but like I don't think we're on the same planets planets or i don't think we're in the same universe planet no i don't know where are the planets <laughs> universe definitely but like not in the same world so like we need to travel through like these portals to get to the other world that we know in the other books so that that's what's going on in this one basically just very gritty and dark and bloody i'm enjoying myself a lot in the reread so far so i'll give more thoughts when i'm done I initially gave it five stars, so hopefully that holds. So far, I'm just like, it's so good. And it's written very, really like, how can I say it? Like, very, really like, rough. Obviously, I'm reading it in Norwegian, but, like, just the language itself, it's just very, I don't know, cool. I don't know words to describe stuff. No words that for me having silver throat, though. And, obviously, I'm gonna read this right after The Iron Wolf. So, yeah, it's all part of this vlog. So stay tuned for the end to see my full thoughts. Again, it's gonna be non-spoilers, but yeah, I'm just making this little vlog and I'm very happy. I'm very excited. So I hope I made sense in this. I was too excited. And you should see me <laughs> very soon. I'm off work, which is why I look like a disheveled goblin. And I read a lot of the Iron Wolf at work because it was really quiet. So I only have like a hundred pages left now, which I'm sure I will finish tonight. Maybe I'll be able to start Silver Throw today as well. Very excited to see. But the thoughts is that you know, the whole book bases itself on this secret that you don't know. And when things are revealed, you're like... She's really good at making you, like, what to say? Like, how, like, clues were there, but you, like, we aren't sure what was real or not. And when it all came together, it's just so good. Just the way it's written. Mm, I'm just enjoying it so much. More thoughts, I don't know. <laughs> it's just a really well-written book with really cool concepts. And it builds us up on concepts you just had before, but like in no way or shape form that you need to have read those before. It's just kind of like a fun tidbit if you have. And I'm just very excited to continue. I'm gonna go and listen to some Wheel of Time now, actually. Later, I will read more. So you should see me. Soon. Okay, hello. So it is a bit later and I did finish the Iron Wolf <laughs> and it was amazing, just as I thought it would be. Small things I noticed this time around is that Siri is really good at giving us answers and then we believe this thing and are on these people's sides for them to just turn around and then we maybe are on other people's sides and then we never really know what is the truth. She's very good at holding back information but not in a way that is annoying. So it's kind of like you're always in suspense, you always want to guess what's coming but you can't really guess it. And I feel like she does this so particularly well and I know a lot of all the authors do this as well but you know there's more going on and then she paints this picture so beautiful for you and i just appreciated that a lot more this time around i feel like in this one and now can see that there's definitely more secrets out there that we don't know about and another thing about it is i had literally no idea what's gonna happen in the sequels because there is gonna be a trilogy so we have the second book and the third book I have like literally no idea where we stand, what's gonna happen, what is gonna be revealed. I am actually quite scared because I feel like 
that is a scary thing. I, I love it when we kind of don't have like one villain we use 80 books to defeat. I love it when we, I wouldn't even say we have a villain in this, but I love it when we defeat the villain early or have questions that are being answered but at the same time not so that we cannot guess what's coming next. And I feel like she's really good at this in this one is particularly and also in her other series. And now I'm sitting here like, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? in the silver troth i have no idea and i am i am actually really scared now i i, I like what's gonna happen <laughs> so uh, i'm very excited but also feel like it's gonna it's gonna hurt it's gonna hurt me my ship if you can even call it that didn't realize how tc was i need more like i need more if this doesn't give me more i need to have a conversation <laughs> and yeah so uh, i just really don't know where we're gonna end up now because i didn't realize i was gonna say like how many things i wouldn't say are all unresolved but how many things you're still curious about and i just dang it's a really good book it's such a good setup as well with all like the blood and the meaning behind it like the answers she gives and then doesn't give and like how it's all like turned around and it's just brilliant I mean character is fierce and she is so good um oh okay so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put this down it's still getting a five star if I'm very specific it would be a 4.5 to 4.75 but I'm rounding it up to five I'm gonna start this tonight but I'm going to bed so you don't want to see me done and um, I think I should try to finish it tomorrow I am absolutely terrified but yeah that's why we are here we are here to read a silver troth I will let you know. What if it disappoints me? What if it's terrible? I doubt it. Oh my god. I just made some book fall. It was these. It scared me. I doubt it. But what if it's terrible? That will be terrible. <laughs> but yeah. That's what I got to say. I hope I'm making you hyped. Because I'm so hyped to read now the second book. And you should see me tomorrow. Also side note. I feel like it's a terrible idea that I started now before going to bed. Because what if I just keep reading and I will sleep. And I can't do that because I'm going to work. But... I feel like the temptation will be there. So good luck to me. So it is the next morning and I'm going to work, which is very sad. But I did start The Silver Throat, which I have right here. Last night, I read 102 pages because that's where the chapter ended. And I'm really liking it so far. I am a bit scared because things are of course happening but it's a bit slow it's a bit slow in the beginning so was to be fair the iron wolf but then we have like a really like mystery going so that kind of kept you going really hard now there's a lot of politics which i really enjoy but it's a bit slow so we only have 300 pages left and i'm like how are we gonna how are we gonna like see everything happen in these 300 pages it's fully possible i'm not saying that i'm just like it's making me nervous like i'm quaking <laughs> quaking in my bones because i want to see a character again <laughs> and i don't know if they will be there so i'm just waiting and it hurts it hurts i think it's gonna deliver but not in a way i expect so i'm scared but politics we have a very interesting start because we obviously are set after the events of the first book and their things and then a bit of a jumble for reasons because spoilers and because of this there's a lot of turmoil in like the politics and how things are going to be run and like what's going on and what people believe there's a lot of belief going around in or not belief <laughs> in stuff and because of that it's a lot of like turmoil and you are my characters in the middle of all of this she's trying to make everyone realize that this is gonna happen, a certain thing, or like, it's like this. And people don't really believe her. People are just like, you can't just do this and this and this. And she's like, why not? You guys told me to. <laughs> Basically, other stuff is obviously going on that is explained much better than I just did now. But because of this, we have a really like turmoil politics going on. And this new character that has kind of introduced that is seeming to get a really huge role, which is kind of the title of the book. So I'm curious to see when we meet that character and how that is gonna play out. But it's written really well, whereas like the politics of it and how and why there is a conflict is written in a way that is very interesting and it really makes sense, like for what happened in the first book and how they have like been functioning all these years. It makes sense for people to not agree and she is making a really good 
I was gonna say show of it to like make you intrigued into like what people are thinking and like how it's gonna go and I am really enjoying it too I uh, I think it's done as I said really well and I'm interested to see who's gonna think what and what's gonna mean what and I'm nervous I'm very nervous but I'm bringing this to work I don't think I will be able to read but you never know you shall see me later I'm nervous guys I'm nervous but I am enjoying myself a lot okay so it's later obviously <laughs> The book almost fell, and I have continued The Silver Throat. I'm now 198 pages in, so basically page 200. I don't know why I'm updating every 100 pages, it just happened. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you what happened, but Juva is now in a very, I would say, not sticky situation, a bloody situation. And I don't know if it's true or not what's going on, but I am worried for her and what's going to happen. There's still no sign for what I want to happen and I'm I'm still terrified. I don't know if that's a spoiler for people know what I'm talking about, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting, okay? And then other things were revealed about the things that are going on. There's kind of like a f conflict to do with blood in a way <laughs> and other stuff that was revealed in book one. There's more things that you always think you got some answers, but you don't, <laughs> as I said before. And now we're getting like more things revealed about this and there's hunts and there is scary stuff going on. And I'm worried about everyone. I honestly don't know what's gonna happen. I honestly don't know where we're gonna end up. And this new character is very charismatic and like it's tricking everyone. I don't don't trust him <laughs> so yeah we shall see what happens but overall very worried and i i just don't know how it's gonna go but we shall see we shall see i'm feeling satisfied in a way because we're getting more of the story etc but i'm also feeling like at this point i feel like maybe more should happen but when i think about it it is true to the story that it's not like full-on explosion because it's more like a political story right now than anything else and there is action and blood happening but like in a lower scale not like a full-on battle not that i expected that but i'm just mean more like in my head action has not happened but it definitely has so yeah that was just thoughts but yeah i'm i'm gonna go and keep reading i i will try to finish it tonight so we shall see okay so so I, i'm not i'm not 100 pages more in i'm like 30 pages more in so 230 and something happened that like I I thought maybe would happen, but like in book one we introduced this character, one of the characters. I, I want to say more about it. I don't know if it's a spoiler, but basically we think stuff about this character and it's turning like incorrect, and he shows up now and um, we have to kind of help him. And I'm just like this, like how this is like turning around a bit and like a bit full circle ish, and I'm just like. I'm loving it so much. I'm like, oh my god, I love so much right now. And I have to tell the vlog. And you have no idea what I'm talking about. I just want you to see how I generally feel. Like, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading. Once again, only 244 pages in. And seriously, another thing was revealed now that I, I, I feel like I should have seen coming, but I didn't. And I'm like, what? Like, how, how does she do it? How do we think this one thing? And then we are on this side and we keep switching sides. It happens all the time. I'm just like, oh, I, I, I'm like quaking. <laughs> I'm quaking to my bones. I need to stop, stop to, to wrong, but I can't. And dang, you guys need to read this book. Okay, okay. I'm on 290. Something was just kind of revealed. I actually don't know because we kind of just went on and just didn't. What? What's going on? I don't know. She did it again. <laughs> like, we think everything is gonna happen, but it's not that, and I just don't understand how, and... Like, I should have suspected this. I feel like I should have suspected this, but I didn't. And now I'm just... I'm upset. Either way, gonna read more. Things are coming. I was gonna say round circle here. Possibly reveal left and right. And something sad really happened, and I am worried! I've been saying that over and over. But yeah, I am on 330 and I'm sad because Jew is sad and nothing I thought would happen has happened. <laughs> we just like, we thought a certain thing. It reminds me a bit of like the witch hunts in like Salem, etc. And now it's not. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But yeah, I have about 60 pages left. Goodbye. It's a bit late. I'm gonna give like a final clip with like more 
proper thoughts or whatever tomorrow or something, but I'm done. I'm upset. <laughs> I, uh, after a while in the book, I had a feeling that a certain thing was not going to happen until the end, if it was going to happen at all. And I was correct. And I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> Because now I have to wait. And I realized that this book, like, it was very important for the development of Yuva and the world and, like, for the Wardery, or however we pronounce our word in English. And it was important for, like, of all a lot. And obviously, I know a lot of people like me were very excited for another thing, but, like, this was so interesting in what it gave here. And it was even, like, more twists in the end <laughs> and there's always a character like right before they might die they confess all of things and you was always like can this be true it happened like several times now and usually they speak the truth so you always get like more secrets and stuff as i now i think i said like 10 times in this video more stuff was maybe revealed and also a thing happened i thought i had a feeling i felt a feeling if that didn't happen sooner in the book it would happen like that and that's what i thought and that's what happened and this took two years to come, so am I gonna wait three more years for the next one? Because I don't want to do that. <laughs> it was so enjoyable and good, and it didn't deliver at all what I thought it would, but what it did deliver was really great. I feel like that speaks a lot as well, like, you expect stuff, and a part of me could feel disappointed, but since what I got was so entertaining and just so well written, I don't mind, which is like, that's a good sign. Either way, I know I'm a mess in this video, I just cannot help it, but now I'm gonna go to bed and then I will talk to you later, but wow. I'm so upset. <laughs> I'm so excited, but I'm so upset. <laughs> good night. Hello, hello. It is now actually like two days later. I did, of course, finish the silver throat and it was a banger. <laughs> I mean, I think I said I finished it, but like, I needed time to think and like what to say. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot in this video, but I also wanted like my actual reactions and that is how I felt, which is basically like, I never could guess what was happening. Things were revealed, alliances were broken, alliances were made. And it's just how Siri, as I said many times now before, manages to keep you on your toes. You can never guess where motivations lie and managed to like have this political landscape but at the same time giving you nitbits of all the things you might be looking for and I think it was just such a well-written book. I feel like sometimes the second book in trilogies can feel a very like fillery, just a bridge book to the next one and of course it's bridging to the next one that the second book in the series of course also did but it had stuff in here that is so 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 important to have a grounds for and um, for it to happen before the third and final book in the trilogy, which I now hope coming, of course, in a week, instead of like, if I need to wait three years, I don't have words. Really, really love this world and these characters. I think I would say for now, the Iron Wolf is my favorite of the two, but I still love this a lot. I will give it five stars. Maybe if I'm very specific, <laughs> I will give it like 4.5, but like I will round it up to five stars. Uh, like it's just so well written like the language and the words it's just so well written i think that like if a different author did this story and didn't write as well as siri i wouldn't love it as much because just the sentences like she is such a great writer <laughs> and i'm just like amazed like norwegian words do i even like them i don't know but i like them when siri writes them so so happy i got this arc and i just knew it was gonna go straight into my heart and I just feel like the third book is gonna be such a banger. Can I say banger? Is that weird? I don't know. I'm just so, so happy that nothing I thought would happen happened. I'm not happy about that though, but like I am so happy that nothing I thought that was gonna happen happened, but it somehow made me just more into the story and like I thought as I said, certain things. We were, didn't go any of those directions. We went a completely different direction. And it managed me to keep me so into the story still, even though it didn't give those sort of things, if that makes sense. And I'm in love. Yeah, that, that's what I got to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave 
something silver down below, maybe a necklace. I don't think it's silver though. If you like this, you should see me soon in a new one. And again, thank you so much for watching and being here. Goodbye.